Hi guys, in this video I will show you 3 easy car effects you can do in After Effects. Let's begin with, easy duplicated car effect. Duplicate your clip and rename to, car only. Now select Roto Brush tool and double click on car only layer. Make a smooth selection of the car. Once you are done with selection, add a feather a bit, then click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. If you toggle off the original video, you will see a masked out car only layer. Toggle on original video and let's start making effect. Make sure car only layer is selected and double click on anchor point tool, then change anchor point position to somewhere in the corner of the car. Now press R on your keyboard to open rotation. Make sure you are at the very beginning of the video and click on rotation stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now go a few frames forward and change rotation like in this video. Then go to very end of the layer and change rotation to zero. Move second keyframe in the middle of the layer. Duplicate car only layer and press U on your keyboard to open up keyframes, then go to the middle keyframe and change rotation again. Duplicate one more time and do the same. You can make thousands of duplicates, it's up to you. Once you are done with it, enable motion blur on all car only layers. Now select all keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve like mine. First effect is ready. Let's jump to another. Duplicated car logo, this one is so satisfying to watch. We have to mask out the logo first, to mask the logo you can use, Roto Brush Tool, Pen Tool, or Ellipse Tool. If you have Mocha AE, better use Mocha. Mocha AE is free and you can get it on an official website. In Mocha AE select Ellipse Tool and mask the logo. Once you are done with masking, click on Tracking button. As the tracking is finished, click on Save button and close Mocha AE. Now expand matte and click on, Apply matte. Now we have an amazing masked out car logo. Let's duplicate this layer now, then select the bottom one and delete Mocha AE on it. Now click on masked out layer and rename it to, Logo. Press S on your keyboard to open scale. Then make sure you are at the very beginning of logo layer and click on scale stopwatch icon. Then go to the middle of logo layer and make the logo a bit smaller like in this video. Now duplicate logo layer. Press U on your keyboard to see keyframes. Then make sure you are at the point where second keyframe is and make logo smaller again. Duplicate logo layer one more time and do the same. Duplicate as much as you want. Once you are happy with it, go to the end of the logo layers and highlight all scales under the logo layers. Hold control button while clicking on scale. Then right click on one of the scales and select, reset. This will bring scale to normal on all layers. Now select all keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve like mine. Enable motion blur on all logo layers. Logo effect is ready, let's jump to final effect. Glitched background effect. To make this effect, you will need a paid plugin called, Glitchify. Grab a Roto Brush tool and double click on your clip. Make a smooth and nice selection of the car. Once you have finished selecting, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Under the Roto Brush add a feather a bit to smooth the edges. Now duplicate Roto Brush layer, select bottom one and delete Roto Brush on it. Now select Roto Brush layer and rename it to, car only. Add a Glitchify plugin on car only layer. Expand image glitch and toggle it off. Expand color glitch and toggle it off as well. Expand channel glitch. Expand channel split. Expand channel scale. Toggle on vertical. Change offset and speed multiplier to zero. Add scale as much you will enjoy. Set horizontal amount to zero. Expand advanced. Expand channel scale and toggle on fill gaps. Play around with scale. And once you are happy with it, Duplicate car only layer and delete glitchify on a top layer. My top 3 pickup effects are ready. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.